Hello, and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is the number 57 short format dip review. So, Skoll Long Cut Citrus Tobacco Blend. What is it? Taking a look at the packaging, you have the Skoll layout raised box rim. The silver outlining of the word Skoll is raised and is the half circle. The background color is a metallic yellowish green. First sign of trouble. Going around to the side, you have Skoll branding. Blend and cut. Scrunched U.S. smokeless tobacco warning label. General information. This is smokeless tobacco. It is 100% American tobacco, as is all U.S. smokeless products. Underage sales prohibited, and sale is only allowed in the United States. You have small branding, cut, and flavor, barcode, and manufacturer's information. It is a standard 1.2 net weight ounce can, standard size dip can, and it is tax class M, as is all dipping tobacco. It is a product of the national, the national, the U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company of Nashville, Tennessee. Sorry. On the back, you have a U.S. Smokeless guaranteed fresh stamped can and a sell-by date. On this one, it is July 5th, 2020. I am going to cut into this. I am not a fan of this product. And it is not because it is fruit flavored or, in my opinion, some sign of, like, lesser manhood. It's because I don't care for the product. Um, it's not enticing to me. There was a time when I first started that I found it interesting. Can't say I loved it, but I at least found it interesting. That time has passed. And it is open. Idea of the cut. It's going to be a fairly good cut. It's a Skull product. It's going to be easy to use. And here is the first problem. Besides the god-awful metallic yellow-green. Because you really don't want your dip can looking like a modded-out techno car that's flying around Tokyo. But that's just my opinion. The big problem right off the bat is the smell. Now it is citrus in the same way as Lysol all-purpose spray cleaner is citrus. I'll tell you exactly what this smells like and I just found out recently the product is still in the market. Evidently they just stopped selling it around me. It smells exactly like Windex all-purpose cleaner. Windex makes a yellow lemon scented all-purpose cleaner that you can actually use on Windows too. It's very convenient. And this smells exactly like it. So looking in the can, that is a darn good representation. That is what it is looking like. It is definitely brownish. It is dark. It is moist. Fairly moist for a Skull product. I am guessing it is going to be fairly easy to pinch. Skull is set up for beginners in mind. That's why they have flavors like this. I am backing it, but that's really only because I'm really tired and I need to back it at this point. So it's easy to pinch. You got a nice big pinch there. I'm going to throw it in and hit the pause button. Back in a moment, but not the stop button. Okay, so here's what it is. It's a low nicotine beginner's product flavored with citrus. Now, the flavor is tolerable. It's not something I'm like, oh my God, I got to get this out of my mouth by any means. It is citrus. It is a lemon-esque based citrus it, it's not absolutely horrific. If you are a huge fan of citrus stuff, you may like it. It is not in the mouth, flavor-wise, as disturbing to me as the smell. And the smell 
is only really disturbing to me because it's so close to the Windex product. I mean, it's, it's mind-blowing how close it is. Now, that said, it is a U.S. smokeless tobacco company product. They make Skoll, they make Copenhagen, and I am not shaded out by it. If I opened a Swisher product and it smelled like that, the review would probably end right then. And I'm not kidding. So, it's not sketchy. It's just, in my mind, why type deal. Like, what? Like, But it must sell because it's never been discontinued and it keeps on going. It is going to have lower nicotine. I don't believe it is as low as the cherry. It is probably somewhere on par with the peach. Unfortunately, the difference here is with this product and somewhat with the berry they do not have the it does not have the dark tobacco undertone that the cherry and the peach do okay i actually like the peach i like the cherry too it's just ridiculously low nicotine berry mm, this not so much uh that said again though it's tolerable it is different and Really, I believe this may be the only citrus that is being made at this time. There were others, but I think this is the only one that's actually in production at the moment. So, low nicotine, easy to use cut. Packaging color-wise is... Yeah. Um, but, I mean, for a beginner, somebody that's like transitioning off of cigarette smoking or vaping... Yeah, in that in that light, in an urban metropolitan area, th this makes sales sense to me. That they would do something like this. If they could tweak the smell a little bit, it would be it would probably be a better idea in my mind. So that's what it is. The packaging, I mean, besides the color, the packaging is a standard skull layout basically, and I'm, it's quality packaging. It's quality lid, cans good, you know. The whole product is fine. It's just not something I like overly. But it is not sketchy at the same time. All right, so this has been the short format review of Skull Citrus Tobacco Blend. The video that's going to pop up any second here will be of the original review. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves, and God bless.